Welcome to Everlasting Talk. Hello, welcome to Everlasting Talk, I'm Eros Ever, and today in a biography series we're talking about Benito Mussolini. Before we get started, uh, make sure to go to my social media pages, uh, links below, um, Instagram, X, YouTube, Spotify, Blogger, get your merch on Spring, also I stream sometimes on on Twitch, and so I'm going to start streaming on Kick. But yeah, thank you so much. Today we're doing a biography series on Benito Mussolini. Benito Mussolini was the enigmatic leader who who rose to power and the founder of, the, of Italian fascism. Born on July 29th, 1883 in Padapio, Italy, full name Benito Amicare Andrea Mussolini, grew up in an impoverished part of Romanged uh, Romanji um, fueled his resentment towards the established order and perceived injustices of the Italian monarchy. His experiences as a journalist and political agitator provided him a platform to grow his uh, nationalist and anti-establishment rhetoric. Mussolini's rise to power began with founding the. Fa- I, it's in Italian, so I'll, I'm not. This, um, it's called. Fascisti Italiani de Combattimento, Italian Fascist Party, in 1919. Capitalizing on the post World War I disillusionment and economic turmoil, he tapped into people's hearts all across Italy. So, similar to well, his future ally, uh, Adolf Hitler, he kind of capitalized on you know World War, uh, post World War I resentment, so it definitely helped him with, with his rise to power. In October 9, 8, 1922, thousands of supporters marched to the capital. They were demanding King Victor Emmanuel III to appoint Mussolini as prime minister. Faced with the threat of civil unrest and civil war, the king relented. Mussolini assumed power, marking the beginning of his regime. Uh, eventually, Mussolini's downfall came with Italy's entry into World War II as an Axis power, an ally of Nazi Germany. Initially, Mussolini, Mussolini's alliance with Germany appeared to strengthen his grip on power. Um, but military setbacks and lo- you know losses and you know losing territory and Allied advances eroded his support. In 1943, he was ousted out of power by his own Grand Council and arrested by the orders of the king. On April 28, 1945, Mussolini was captured by Italian per- partitions while trying to flee to Switzerland. He, well, he's, he was going to flee to Switzerland through Spain, but um, they ended up catching him. He and his mistress, Clara Patrici, were, ex- ex- were, uh, were caught ex- along with 15 others, and they were executed in a total of about, about 15, 15 to 17. By a firing squad, allegedly, or firing squad, or they just got like shot in a village of Giuliano de Mez- Mezra on uh, April 29, 1945. Eventually, to add like more, because they, they hated him so much, eventually they, they got all their bodies and they were dumped in the Piazza Lorento or later known as the Piazza Quindio Martiri. Uh, otherwise known as the Plaza of the Martyrs. I don't know Italian, but um, their bodies were, were you know, they were kicked. They were spat on. They were, you know, punched. They were hung upside down like, like meat at, at a gas station. People would throw rocks at them. They would, you know, throw garbage at them. They would throw food at them. Just desecrating dead bodies, you know, because they hated him so much. Of what they, you know, they brought, you know, his power, Rosa power, you know, did to them. So it's kind of crazy, like, p- people march on Rome in the capital to, like, put them into power. And then the same people, you know, in the parts of, well, there was Milan. In Milan, they, like, they just, you know, you know, that's what they did to their bodies, which was crazy. Um, it was pretty much just to show the bodies as an example to other fascists. So, you know, they would like, you know, there's other, there's a, a couple other people that were fascists that were brought to the square and they were threatened this would be done to you, but they would eventually themselves be executed too or shot. So it's kind of like, 
hey, this is you, you know, if you decide to stay with this. But it was kind of crazy. And then it will just execute the people there, like, you know, uh, with, you know, the bullet or something. So legacy, you know, his legacy is of controversy and condemnation. It led to widespread repression, persecution of many people, including the people that were Jewish, you know. Um, the attempts of modernization and infrastructure development, um, you know, eventually led to Italy's ruin. And, you know, eventually led them to, like, be really bad during World War II. They were very, pretty much a non-factor. I mean, there's not a lot of battles where you talk about Italy's, like, po power and strength and, uh, you know, on the battlefield. They're pretty much getting desecrated, you know, destroyed everywhere they went. So, besides, like, when they invaded Ethiopia and, you know, parts of Ethiopia during the war or before the war. Sonny Mussolini provides insight on the rise of fascism in Europe and the degrees of authoritism serves as a as a cautionary tale of unchecked power and also who you align with because eventually you know he did align with nazi germany and on the axis powers and that led to his downfall even quicker i think he had germany for a while until germany started losing and that's what eventually ended up him you know being outside of power and you know getting killed and you know you know his body afterwards so badly so here's some things you could look out some books and documentaries you could look into that i looked into that's how i got a lot of this stuff you could look at mussolini and fascist italy a book by martin blinkhorn also check out the documentary by Lini reifenstahl called triumph of the will there's another book um oh, i think it's a book or documentary i forgot what it was mussolini's italy life under the fascist dictatorship by rgb bosworth so yeah, that's a little insight on Mussolini and who he was. Obviously, you guys could do more of your own research as well. But in the next episode, we're gonna talk about Benjamin Franklin. So we do switch from like World War II to like you know the 1700s. But yeah, guys, uh, thank you so much for joining me. Uh, make sure to go to my social media links. I I have them below. You could find me out on Instagram, X, YouTube. Uh, you know, spring, get your merch. I will appreciate that. Um, you check me out on Blogger. I stream sometimes on Twitch and I'll start streaming on Kick as well. But yeah, thank you so much and I'll see you at the next one. Bye. Thank you for listening to this episode of Everlasting Talk. For more content, follow us on Twitch, Twitter, YouTube, and Instagram at Everlasting Talk. Thank you.